Hey guys, welcome back to Arts and Cast. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet a Winnie the Pooh bucket hat. As you can see, I've already made my bucket hat. I have a tutorial up on my channel that I will link in the bio. Obviously for making the bucket hat, you're going to want to start with a yellow. And on the last three rows of your side, you're going to change to red. And then for the brim, you're going to go back to yellow. Besides that, everything else in the tutorial is the complete same. And when you have your bucket hat all ready to go, we are going to jump right into how to put on the ears. Let's get into it. So obviously we're going to be working in yellow for both parts of the ear. We're going to start with the inner by creating a magic ring. Three fingers, hold with your thumb, over to create an X. On the other side, it's open like that. Through the first loop, grab the second loop, pull it through, leaving this open. You're going to go back into that second string and grab it and pull it through. And then I just like to hold that. And just like so, you have a magic ring. Now we are going to chain two. One, two. And we're gonna put two double crochets into the magic ring. So yarn over, through, yarn over, pull the first two loops and pull the second two loops. We're gonna do that again, yarn over, through, yarn over, pull two, yarn over, pull two. Now we're going to do two triple crochets. So that's yarning over twice, one, two, through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through the last two. One more of those, two rounds, through, yarn over, pull the first two, pull the second two, and pull the last one. And to finish this off, two more double crochets, one around, through, pull through, pull through, one more of those, pull through. So now that is how we're looking. Now I chain two, one, two, slip stitch into the magic ring. So that's just going through and grabbing that string and then just bringing that string right through that one too. Now with this small string that's left, we're gonna pull her tight to create our little bear. To start this next row, we're going to chain one, flip our work, and now we're gonna work double crochets into every stitch. Working our way. This is how we're looking. You're gonna to wanna to create two of these and I will come back when we're starting our outer ear. Once you have the two ears, you're gonna to wanna to tie one off and keep another one in the loop. Starting on the outer ear, you're gonna take the one with the loop and chain two. Flip over your work so you're ready to start crocheting this way. Line up the inner part with the outer part and we're gonna start with single crochet. So we're gonna go through both. So first this, through the first one and through our back one. We're just gonna go yarn over and pull through both. We're gonna do that again, another single crochet in the next one. And another single crochet. One more single crochet. Now we are going for an increase at the top here. So that means two single crochets in this top part. There's one, two. And now back to single crochets all down the side. Single crochet, going into both loops all the way back down. Last one in this corner. And once you have done that, I like to pull this out. This string I'm gonna keep really long for the sewing in part. Cut that off, pull through here. And now we got our little ear. Once you have both of these little guides, I'm gonna get straight into how I sew these onto the hat. 
I've got my sewing needle attached to a long piece of string for my ear. We're gonna grab our bucket hat. First, we're gonna work on our placement. So I'm kind of thinking like right on the corners here is gonna be cute. And to start this off, we just start weaving in and out. So I'm gonna pull this all the way through until that ear is in the place that I would like. Then going back up underneath here, pop out here. I like to go up and in the ear too. So I'm going through the ear and the hat. Pull that up. And I basically just weave this in and out, back and forth, until it's really sturdy on there. I'm gonna go back down here. And working down the ear, making sure that the placement is where you like. We're just going to continue all the way down. As you can see, it's starting to build its shape. I'm also going to flip it over and really work the stitches in the back of the ear too, just to really get it sturdy on there, you know? Back up here a little bit. Once you get a little bit secured, it's so much easier to sew it in. As you can see, that ear is on there. Also, as you can see, I left all these extra strings. So now I just take my hook from the inside and pull them all through so I can fasten them on the inside. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just do the exact same thing with the other ear and then I'll show you the finished product. How easy was that, guys? <laughs> we are all done. Look how cute. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> Let's try it on. Ah, it is so cute. I love how this came out. I love how easy it was. I will definitely be making more of these. Please let me know if there's any characters or cool things that you would like to see me turn into bucket hats. Seems to be the hyper fixation of the moment or anything else crochet. As always, thank you guys so much for getting this far in the video. Stay tuned as there will be more creative crafts coming your way. And until next time, peace.